So for this problem we're asked to solve a system of linear equations using substitution and we're given two equations to help keep them separate I'm going to call the first one the red equation and the second one the blue equation. So our first step here is to take one of these two equations and to solve it for either x or y and it looks like the second equation is going to be the easier one to work with because the x has a coefficient of 1 in front of it which means it's going to be the easiest to solve for. So in this second equation, the blue one, we have x minus 2y equals 6. So to get the x by itself I'm just going to add the 2y over to the other side. On the left hand side, the minus 2y and the plus 2y are going to cancel, leaving me with just x equals, on the right hand side, I have 6 plus 2y. So now that we have isolated the x in the second equation, in the blue one, I'm going to substitute that x value into the red equation at the top. So I'm going to replace this x with this x. So rewriting the first equation, I have 4 times x, but in this case the x is the same thing as 6 plus 2y. So I'm going to write 6 plus 2y, replacing that x, and then the rest of the equation plus 5y equals 11. So this new equation that we just created has only one variable, y. We just need to simplify it by first distributing the 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 2y is 8y. And then bring down the rest of the equation, 5y equals 11. We have some common terms here that we can combine, the 8y plus the 5y, bringing down the 24 gives us 24 plus 8y plus 5y is 13y equals 11 and then continue isolating the y. I would move the 24 to the other side by subtracting. The 24's cancel and we now have 13y equals 11 minus 24 is a negative 13. And then our final step is to get the y by itself by dividing 13 on both sides. The 13's cancel and we have y equals negative 1. So at this point we have half of the solution. We have the y value negative 1. And to find the x value we can go back to this equation that we had earlier where we had solved for x and this time we're going to substitute this y value into that equation. So rewriting we have x equals 6 plus 2y but in this case we know that the y value is negative 1 from below and when we simplify this that means that x equals 6 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2 or a minus 2. So 6 minus 2 is 4. So now we have our second value, x equals 4.